Well, a first of its kind boating ban is going into effect at Lake Folsom. It comes just as the weather is warming up and many people, of course, are going to be looking to take their boats out for the first time this season. Yeah, so tonight we're getting answers on why Folsom Lake is being quarantined and what boaters need to do if they want to launch later this year. Big changes coming for boaters at Folsom Lake beginning next Monday and lasting for 30 days. All motor boats will be banned. This is a pretty unusual thing to happen here. After that, all motorized vessels will need to be inspected by state park staff and then wait 30 days before they can launch at Folsom Lake. They're going to be looking for standing water in your bilge and in, in ballast bags, um, mussels on trailers. It's uh, kind of a bummer. We just bought our annual pass last month and uh, here we're not even going to be able to use it for 30 days. Boaters like Charles Rogers are just now finding out about the ban. And then we're kind of stuck to this lake. Um, if we decide to go to another lake, um, we got to go through the process again. Boats that pass inspection will be issued a red cable seal, which will be removed just before they enter the water. It's going to be a hassle. There's just no way to, go to, to get around that. State Park Superintendent Mike Howard says the quarantine is an effort to stop the spread of golden mussels, an aquatic species that's not at Folsom Lake now, but has been found in other Northern California waterways. Golden mussels are very invasive. They can they can wreak havoc on the water infrastructure. That includes the danger of clogging drinking water intake pipes that supply thousands of homes and even threatening Folsom Dam's spillways. They are spreading in California. The quarantine efforts also include closing the rattlesnake bar and peninsula boat ramps. All motorboats will also be banned on Lake Natoma. Up to 70,000 boats launch at Folsom Lake each year, and these mandatory inspections and ramp closures will be a new reality at one of Northern California's most popular boating spots. I expect this quarantine system to be in place until further notice. Wow, those golden mussels causing quite the problem. The ban does not impact canoes, kayaks, or other non-motorized boats. State Parks officials say they now need to hire extra staff to conduct the inspections, which take about 15 to 30 minutes.